Now, if you design websites using WordPress, there are repetitive tasks that you do each and every time you build a brand new website. So in this video, I want to show you ZipWP, specifically their feature called ZipWP Blueprints. It is really awesome. And once you see how it works, you will definitely want to use this. So head over to zipwp.com and sign up for a free account. So in my case here, I have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. So here you can see I've already uh, gone in and used about 17 out of 20. This is a premium uh, version. So over here on the staging site, when you build a website, you would come over here to create new and then you create a blank website. OK, so you'd give it a name. So I'm going to call this test and then create site. Now, as you can see, this is working on ZipWP servers. Now, if you wanted to do this on a hosting account, as you can imagine, this will cost you a lot of money. And also the process of creating these websites is totally different. So anyway, I've created my site and you can see it happened within you know less than five seconds. I can now go in and click on one click login. So now I'm actually logged into the website that I've just literally just created. So here's what we need to do. We can actually go in here and uh, clean up everything because normally when we build our websites, we want to make sure that uh, we have specific settings right at the beginning. So I've removed that. Now over here on the pages, uh, there may be the sample page that I may need to get rid of. So I'm going to delete that. I'm also going to come over here to trash and I'm going to follow it up and delete permanently. Great. Now I know over here on the um, posts, there is also that hello world. So let's head over there. And here it is. I'm going to trash it as well. And I'm also going to get rid of it completely. So here it is. Delete permanently. All right, great. So this is the time now where you probably want to go in and set all your plugins that you use each and every time you design your websites. So for now, I'm just going to pretend that I'm going to install uh, a few plugins, but I'm just going to do one as an example. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add new. And the plugin I'm going to install is called Fluent Forms. So we're going to go ahead now and uh, install it. In fact, I may need to. In fact, let's go with Fluent CRM. OK, we're going to click here to install. And by the way, I use this pretty much on every website. All right, let's go ahead and activate. So now that my plugin is activated, uh, I may also need to go in and uh, install my theme. So I'm going to come over here to appearance themes. Now, you know, I'm a DV user, so I'm going to come over here to DV theme, download it here. So now you can see it has gone ahead and downloaded it over here at the top. Now I'm going to go in and add new theme. Next, I'm going to upload my theme, choose file. And here it is. Double click on that and then click on install. Now, at this point, I can also go on further and set my fonts and pretty much set everything that I need for me to design my brand new website. So all these settings, as you can imagine, you would need to do this each and every time you design a website. So let's go ahead and activate this and uh, just do a few more settings, perhaps maybe set our home page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new, and we are going to set our home page by coming over here like that. OK, excellent. So now that we have uh, our home page, we're going to go ahead and publish it. So let's just say start building and OK, great. So we have our page. I'm just going to save this and then back over here. I'm going to go to my dashboard. Now, I want to set this as my main home page, because if I come over here and click on view site, you'll notice that this has been set to uh, blogs. OK, so we want to change that to my home page. So I'm going to come over here to settings and then go to reading and then set my static page here to home like that. Excellent. So now that I have this, I may also want to come over here to appearance and then go to uh, customize. This is where I need to set my font. So we're going to go to general settings, typography, and then we are going to set our fonts. So we want to change the default here to uh, let's go with Inter or even Poppins. OK, let's go with Inter and here it is. 
and we're going to go with bold and because this is for our headings and then for our body font we're going to do the same choose enter and we're just going to set this to regular and I think I'm good to go. I'm going to hit publish. Oh, and one more thing. We also need to set the um, the text size. So we're going to change this from 14 to 16. Okay, now you can hit publish. So let's say these are the things that you do uh, on each and every site as an agency or as a freelancer. Now we can just do a quick uh, view of our site here. And yes, our homepage. Um, has been set here and I can also see here on the top all right great so already I've been working on this for five minutes but of course if you're going to be adding more plugins and um, more tools and more settings this is going to take you longer so the time it's going to take you to put this uh, basic building block of your site is the time it's going to take you for every single site so to save you time you need to create a blueprint of this site so here's how you do it so back over here now, you can see this is our test site. All you have to do is to come over here to these three little dots, click on these three little dots, and then you want to scroll down and click on Create Blueprint. Now I know you can't really see that. Let me just get myself out of the way here. All right, so you want to click here and then go to Create Blueprint. Okay, so we give it a title. So this is going to be our basic DV install. So for our short description here, I'm also going to say DV4 install, okay, just like that. So now that I have this, the really cool thing now is I can actually share this. So we have options here. It says publicly shareable or I can set it as a demo product or I can set it as private. So for now, I'm just going to leave it as private and then click on create. Okay. So now we have our own tab called Blueprints. So here we have our tab for our staging sites, remember? I can actually go ahead now from my staging site here, delete any site if I need to delete anything. But if I need to start a brand new site, a Divi site, I can come over here to Blueprints. And remember, I have my test here. So I can go ahead now and um, log into this one, or I can come to these three little dots here get my login credentials by clicking here and you can see this is my site, this is my username, this is my password and so on. So this is if I want to log into this site and make a few changes. But if I want to create a brand new site based on this DV4 install, here's what I need to do. i would come over here to staging sites and then click on create new. So over here, I can go to blank sites OK, now we also have another tab which says from Blueprint. So this is where I want to click, click on this drop down and now I can choose test. So with test selected, I can now click on create site. So whatever settings that I've done on the test site, which was the uh, Blueprint or the site that we turned into a Blueprint is what is going to be installed onto this particular site, which is really, really cool because now I've saved myself a lot of time, especially adding my Divi theme and my plugins and so on. So as you can see, here it is. This is the clone. So all I have to do now is to one click login like that. And now I'm into my new site. And how do I know it's a new site? It's because this is the demo. Now already I have my Fluent CRM here and if I go to my themes, I know that I'm going to have DV theme. If I check my pages, I know my sample page is gone and you can see that it's not there anymore. And if I also come over here to my posts, you can see that, that the Hello World post is gone. So what does this mean when it comes to really taking this to the next level? Well, if you're a freelance designer, you can create a complete website 
and actually sell it if you wanted to or you can create a complete website and this becomes a starting point for all your all your members or your team members so that means you're going to save a lot of time designing websites from scratch because you've just uh, created a blueprint which has all your normal settings that you'd have on each and every site you may want to do. Now you can take this a step further and also add your colors, your color palettes. You can also add your default pages that you may need and basic settings. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. I will leave a link to ZipWP in the video description below. Go ahead, check it out and uh, start using this for your own design and uh, for all your own studios. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.